Hello and welcome to another cryptocurrency update after the market closed on 22nd of June. We look at always the uh, GBTC which is the Bitcoin Investment Trust. So this isn't actually like the price of Bitcoin. The reason I look at this is because it's seemed to have been pretty good so far as a way of kind of balancing out the volatility of Bitcoin because by the nature of an investment trust they're accumulating over time uh, Bitcoin so it is very much like a proxy proxy for it and that that gives it a bit more stability it seems but um, and here's a chart of it going back crazy for a few years along the bottom here each vertical peg is a week of action and that action is kind of smoothed out for us by these averages here we've got a, sh a short term average which is the red one and the blue one which is a more of a long term average so as we can see it's been important for any bull market actually to stay above the long term average it can dip above and below the short term but long term is to stay above and this caused concern uh, in uh, spring of this year when it went below that and then it got back above so it looked like everything was going well. And as you know what I've been commentating on in the last few weeks is the technical situation deteriorating and I explained how this $10 line here was really like that kind of line in the sand that Bitcoin must not violate um, on, a, on a week to week picture anyway and there it is as we can see as I, I suspected it might after this uh, cross here of the, of the averages that's like an ominous sign uh, it moved down and it's sort of leveling right now right there on the $10 position so this will be an important week uh, you know to see what happens next I mean now this isn't just to put this in perspective we're just talking about one cryptocurrency Bitcoin uh, there's plenty of others but you know this is kind of like a you know uh, indicative of, of the, the whole thing but that doesn't mean you give up on cryptocurrencies even if it does go down in fact what that's setting up to do is buying the you know setting up for the next buying opportunity and it's but it's important we know as you know as this whole thing unfolds over the f uh, next few years you know when, when to be in and when to be out um, when to accumulate, when to not to accumulate. Uh, and, and then there's the whole other side of things, which is the blockchain, which is the really big story here. You know, cryptocurrencies are individual, like individual websites and the dot com thing. But the real story was the internet itself. And the real story here is the blockchain itself. And that's the sort of thing that um, we, we're also staying abreast of here on these, you know, these weekly seminars as, as and when stocks come up. We're still so early to this thing, you know. Most people don't even have any clue what a cryptocurrency is. They've remotely heard of Bitcoin, but we're so early to this, and there's going to be so many twists and turns, and so many different new opportunities. So, so um, you know, stay tuned for that. Whatever happens next, uh, here we have a look at the uh, short-term chart, and there's that ten-dollar line. You can see this line of it's like a line of support is what it's called, going way back, and it's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing off of it, and needs to hold right there. Uh, I need to get get back on track. We can see what's going on with our weekly league table here. This is the this is the important thing to look at the capitalization, that amount of money that's gone into it. And once again, you see this number fluctuate here. And it's not that money, it's not that people are selling Bitcoin. It's that the, you know there's not as much as much money going into it, and it's like exhaling and inhaling all the time. And you know this number has gone down. It was back up, and it's it's always fluctuating according according to that. You know. So um, it's an important week to look at that, that line there. So I'm going to leave it there um, and um, well, watch closely and I'll speak to you next time.